What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again, and happy Steam Next Fest, guys. Uh, so, the current Steam Next Fest is running, and uh, we've got a bunch of new game demos. In this case, we're checking out Infection Free Zone, which is kind of a sequel to another game we've played on the channel, which is 112 Operator of all games. Uh, they did a zombie DLC for 112 Operator in which you basically had to send emergency services out to try and stop a zombie outbreak, which you couldn't win. Uh, this game takes place after a zombie outbreak has already happened, and the zombie seems to use the same design, so I think this is supposed to be kind of the aftermath of what we see there. And it's just occurred to me, I've got the music going, so we need to turn that down. I don't know if that's the ambient volume. Let's uh, let's apply that. Yeah, hopefully that's uh, that music or string is uh, not copyrighted. Anyways, let's go ahead and start a new game. So like one one two operator and nine one one operator. One of the cool things for this is that you can choose your city. Unfortunately, that's not available in the demo. But if you want to try and survive a zombie outbreak in your hometown or some major city or wherever you plan to escape to for your zombie survival plan, you can do that. And um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Unfortunately for the demo, we only have a few places, which is uh, Crofton, USA, Dijon, France, Cambridge in the UK, and uh, Teplin in Germany. Uh, you know, I, I've done Crofton. I haven't done any of these other ones yet. And uh, from what little I have played to this, I'm pretty terrible at it, so just bear with me. Um, kind of inclined to see Cambridge. Let's Let's check out Cambridge. I think that could be pretty interesting. I mean, all of them are pretty interesting, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so far this seems fairly challenging, and I don't know if that's the demo or not, but it seems like the hordes get harder and harder every night, and then there's a massive, massive the attack, which it's I wasn't gone. able to survive. Uh, we'll go ahead what and watch this cutscene here, though. appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements. Loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. To all survivors, your infection is in decline. Seek others and rebuild. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Seems kind of like a bad idea to me to be like, oh, the infection's on the decline. Now is the time to go out. Like, obviously, there's probably going to always be, like, the infected, but it's like, hey, as soon as it starts declining, yes, let's leave so that we can all get infected again right away. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what to expect with this particular neighborhood here, but we'll see. Can we create a new squad right off the bat? We can. So let's go ahead, let's start having our people gather wood here. And we're just going to put everybody on that that we can.
All right, so yeah, we've got a few different things going on here. Not all of this is available in the demo, so let's just kind of go ahead, though, and go over it. Um, so you've got research, laws, and weather. These aren't accessible in the demo, so I don't really know what any of that's going to look like in terms of like research and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you got your time controls. Uh, resources in the upper right-hand corner, so we've got to worry about managing food, ammunition, uh, stuff like metal and wood, our grains for cooking. I guess this is the cooked food versus canned food. I'm not really certain though that or that could be medications or something i don't know and then we have uh weapons and the weapons are used to build like guard towers and stuff like that as well as actually arm our parties here so yeah we've got a few different things we got to manage you can see we can also we've got a bunch of citizens that are part of our group so right now i think yeah we've got uh 40 people yeah so we've got eight people in a squad and then everybody else is scavenging right now and so you can see we've sent everybody out to collect wood so everybody's gonna go start chopping down trees you can also send them to gather bricks and uh metals and stuff like that so let's go ahead though and let's start back up now you can encounter zombies during the day but it's uncommon um typically speaking the hordes only come out at night i don't know if that's going to be the case in the full game um, the only times I've really encountered them during the day is when a horde has retreated into a house. I think there was maybe like one building I found with a, a random horde while I was playing earlier. So I don't know that it's going to be very common. It seems like it's probably going to be fairly uncommon actually to see uh, hordes. We can also push V to see the different types of buildings. So there's a lot of buildings that are just kind of random and then there's other buildings that are randomly assigned specific things so let's say this is like a, a pharmacy or something here so this is uh, stocked up on canned food and uh, they found some ammunition which is fantastic i'm excited for that i don't know what we find in churches i haven't actually had a chance to explore a church yet earlier so i'm kind of keen to see what uh, happens with that So, yeah, I don't... Uh, this is going to be a little bit tough. I don't know how we want to do this. I'm guessing these these buildings right here are going to be kind of the two buildings we want to build up around. And... School, Springfield, Gonville, in case, college. So I wonder if this is actually based off of like actual map stuff. Like it pulls map data to actually determine what what these buildings are. I don't know if those are real places in Cambridge. I don't know any of these places in reality. All right. So they're just saying that they uh, they want to basically have a place to live. Okay, so we're finding a decent amount of food in this uh, uh, Doctor's Faculty of Classics and Museum of Classical Archaeology. I think you just saw a doctor and it's like, oh yeah, that must mean it's a um, medical place. Kind of funny. So we're gathering the wood up. We've got a pretty decent amount of wood here, but we'll just probably keep gathering wood for all of today. And then once that's all said and done, I think then from that point, we'll go ahead and start putting up walls and stuff. Great. Any stock will come in handy. Ready for action. Going there. Ready for action. On 
my way. Now, I don't know if it's more worthwhile to have more squads of scavengers or people actually working. Because, I mean, a single squad's taking away four workers. I don't know how much a single worker's capable of doing, but I feel like it's a lot. Then again, you know, you Receiving. only your scavengers here can get stuff like the canned food and the ammunition and stuff, really, for the most part. I haven't seen any way that the workers get that uh, early on, at least. You can eventually get to... Um, Manufacturing, which is here, you can see there's like arms factories and laboratories and stuff even. And uh, I didn't have a chance to check it out, but I did see one workshop in the wild, so I don't know what's in there, but I'm kind of very interested in getting a chance to check that out. We're ready. Oh wow, they've uh, almost cleared all those trees. Not much sunlight left. They're gonna have to come back right away, but Sir? yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's be safe. We're on the move. So for this first night, we should be able to just keep scavenging through the night. It, maybe even the first couple of nights. Um, zombies will probably come pretty early on, though. So probably by the second night, if we can avoid them on the first. Carry on. We need those resources. But uh, we might as well just keep searching the immediate area here. Try to get as many of these uh, these buildings scavenged as possible here. Clear. Ready for action. Go. Clear. Ready for action. Reporting. Yeah, incoming transmission. So there's a there's a horde right there. So we'll we'll hide if we can avoid them. There's uh, there doesn't seem much sense in forcing engagement earlier than we need to. So there's signs of smoke coming out of a building. So we definitely want to investigate that. Hmm. Not sure where I want to place this. Like, right here between the two buildings seems like it might be the best. Clear. It seems to have the, uh, narrowest uh, line of sight break on this house here, so I think that's the way to go. So we'll just kind of keep searching along this way and start just working our way up here. It's interesting. This is uh, saying this is a house here, but I feel like this is almost just being along the riverbank. That's almost like a dock or something that would be there. <laughs> but, uh, the map confused for a house, but I don't know. I'm sure it's not the case. I'm sure it is a house. I just think it would be a lot funnier if it wasn't, though. We're going to speed up time a bit. So we're getting into uh, the day here. On your command. Going there. And we're going to check out this car. Maybe, uh, maybe we can get lucky and take it over and use it. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. Here. True. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Agree. 
So, uh, let's see here. There's a there's a gun shop there. We definitely want to try to uh, get some more weapons and stuff here if we can. Bring them in. We're on the move. Um, all right. Now, there doesn't seem to be a way to build gates, but it seems like maybe your people can just walk through with there not being a gate. I'm actually not clear. I haven't tried this. I've, I've left an opening every time, but it seems like that might be the case. Okay. So we've got a car now, which is fantastic. That will not only allow us to move further distances faster, but also at the same time collect more stuff because the car has its own storage capacity, which I don't know how you transfer stuff between the vehicle and the um, building clear. the buildings, but you're like HQ, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Chief, we just found an assault rifle. Awesome stuff. Come in handy against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. Use it with caution. On my way. Ready? We're on the move. So we've got some ammo. We got an assault rifle, which is great news. Um, I would like two more pistols if we can for watchtowers. That would be really nice. Um, with that being said, oh, what's this? I haven't seen one of these before. Send our car down here to check this out. I'm really curious to see what that is. There's a lot of stuff up here, too. Not a lot of gun shops, though. The gun shops seem kind of rare, which isn't uh, great, obviously. Now, this is another new thing. Is this fuel? Or water? Abandoned. Fuel. So I guess fuel is the thing that we're going to have to be concerned about. On your command. On my way. Okay. Try it. Going there. Roger. Going there. Okay, there we go. They're searching it. Just it's a big building, so it's taking a while to search it. Meanwhile, our uh, fence is coming along pretty good. I do want to get another watchtower, probably like right here. I'm thinking. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info we could use. They were talking about various kinds of infected animals they encountered, along with other groups of survivors. But they've lost people recently. It'll take some time for them to... All right. Okay. Let them rest. So, Construction let's take a look here. You guys find anything interesting? Oh, that is a big building, isn't it? What is this building? I want to know. Parking Peter House car. I got, oh, it's a car park. It's a parking structure. Okay, so they're searching through all like the individual cars and stuff in there. Waiting orders. Going there. And you, what are you doing there? I don't know why that fence is there, but I can't get rid of it.
So again, we'll just basically put it there because that's the uh, least amount of like blocked line of sight that we can get. We're ready. You guys have you're taking so long on that structure. You're halfway done, and you haven't found anything yet. Is that right? Okay. I mean, that's what the game's saying. So the workers can definitely get out of these these fences. I mean, we can see them chopping down trees and working on that and stuff, but I, yeah, it's the scavengers I don't know about. We're going to find that out here very shortly. I didn't see if the fence was completed when he left. I think it might have been, I just wasn't paying any attention. Oh, wow, yeah. We got uh, six canned food out of that building, four on their person that they're taking back, and there's another two there. That's great. We're ready. I uh, spent a whole day searching that and nothing. Oh, there's a truck there. That's what triggered that. wonder if we can put more than one group in a... Uh... A car, though. So, I mean, it would be ideal if I could just pick up the other squad and drive them down here, drop them off, and then have two vehicles going. But it's definitely worthwhile to just send them over here and have them walk over to the vehicle to get to it if need be. So we're going to garrison them in the building just because we don't have this other tower up yet, and even if we did, we don't have the guns for it, so... Sir, it's almost nightfall. We can already see some infected coming out of their lairs. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. Alright, let's speed this up. So I'm guessing these guys are going to come on down, but who knows, maybe not. Hostiles inbound! Port spotted. Um, are they really going to come from all the way over there? Oh, there's a lot of them there. One inbound. So thankfully they are just able to drive through a uh, completed wall. So it's a decent sized horde, but since it's just the one of them, and the way they approached, we just pretty much decimated them. Let's go ahead and get our two scavenging teams over here, because this thing's not going to have line of sight for very long. Yeah, they're going for the blind spot. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, and you can see that. I mean, even the ones that are attacking us, they're kind of moving around in the background looking for parties and people out and about. Can I do that? I cannot. Okay. Well, let's get them over there. Yeah, like I said, definitely we're going to need guns to get the additional tower up. We also need more wood. Well, I guess they're they're still collecting from over here, so that's fine. We got 20 people who aren't doing anything, though. Let's go ahead and fix that. Uh... 
So kind of, kind of a similar thing too to 911 first responders and 112 operator or first responders, 911 operator and 112 operator. Uh, you get these like multiple choice audio dialogue things. Can you hear me? So, I mean, it's just a repeating message. It's probably automated, but um, we're having a hard time hearing them. Let's go there. So I think if I can, what I want to do is take this truck, and then there was a, another gun shop up over here. I think there might have been one up here too that I saw, but I can't see it now. So maybe I was mistaken. But we definitely want to check the gun shop. Like I said, we'll get another tower up here as soon as we can. Um, they've nearly completed it, but it's going to need guns in order for them to actually man it with guards. Operator. Of course, again, you know, that's assuming that we actually find Roger. guns in the gun shops. We very well might not. That was kind of an obnoxious waste of time, but okay. What's this? Or any more resources? Some workers chop down trees. Maybe you could. Okay. Yeah, I'm already on the uh, the Palisades thing, but thank you. So yeah, I mean, there's other walls too. We can get metal fences. We can get brick walls, fortified walls. Um, I'm guessing that you know, as you go down the list, at least some of these are going to be. Stronger and stronger. Obviously, the wooden palisade is probably going to be the weakest one, as opposed to like the fortified walls, which are probably the strongest. Um, On your command. Well, they picked up a, a gun, so that's good. That's one. So, I mean, there's all these random houses and stuff, and we need to kind of search those, too. But I'm trying to prioritize these areas where we know their supplies. Because the thing is, is that this is, uh, like I said, this is a, a demo. And I'm pretty sure they've made it impossible or near impossible to achieve in order to basically kind of make you need to get the actual game. So, we'll try to gear up as much as possible, get as good at defenses and stuff up as possible, but I'm not sure that we're going to be able to do too much. Well, it took most of the day, but they did get down to this truck here, so that's that's good news. Well, we're gonna see. Reporting. There's a uh, another car going there. there. Now see, yeah, I told them to go to that building, and they uh, decided to like drive up next to it, but they didn't get actually get out or anything. We're gonna need to get these guys back here soon. These are gonna have to be the last buildings that they search, so we need them back to defend from the hordes. Okay. Well, they searched the wrong building. Uh, apparently, I clicked on this one here, not the one I actually wanted them to search. It's interesting is that this is uh, this is supposed to be Cambridge in the UK, and it's saying 19 Washington Square North, New York, USA. Receiving. So there seems to maybe be a little bit of a bug going on with the map.
Oh great, they yeah, they found actually a decent amount of stuff in there. We're on the move. Found some grains and stuff. They found a pistol. Perfect. That's what we need to man that other uh, guard tower. They got some ammo. That is great news. Oh, they, then they also got a uh, machine gun too. Wonderful. Okay, well that's fantastic. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited about that haul. It's unfortunately it's going to take them a while to get back to the base, especially because they seem to be taking the least efficient path possible by driving this way, going around instead of you know just going here and then driving up over there. I'm willing to even bet, yeah, this, if they were to go down here, this would basically bring them a straight line that they could uh, take here. I guess maybe that's kind of blocked off or there's like a roundabout, but I feel like that would be a lot faster. So I'm not having to like drive through a town that's possibly filled with the uh, hordes of infested. So workers aren't going to do this during the night, but we'll uh, we'll set this up to be our shelter here. Port spotted. You're going back. Where are you going back for? Another one incoming. On your command. Well, let's speed this up a bit, and by a bit, I mean fully, as much as we can. Going there. I got some hordes coming in from the back side here. Wow, decimated. We found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. There were some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating the land again. Okay, bring that in. All right, here's here's some hordes coming in. Okay, let's build a cookhouse. So the one thing I'm not really sure how they're going to deal with as far as your like resource gatherers is like when you use all the trees, I mean, they have to start getting pretty far out. I mean, there's going to be some point where it's just not going to be feasible for them to go out. And I feel like you're going to hit that point kind of fast, but I don't know. Maybe they can start using vehicles too for the resource gathering or something. I don't know. I mean, that maybe that's where your research windows and start stuff start coming up too. Stay time there, run back for cover. Going there. On my way. Waiting orders. Roger. We're going there. Roger. Ready going there. Going there. Alright, so we're gonna search the library. We've kept that kind of open just so we can search that when this mission popped up because I was expecting that. And then Rush. We're on the move. Search there. Yeah, all these people building here. We've got the we should have enough wood to complete this as a shelter here, and hopefully that will complete the uh live or the shelter objective. Maybe, possibly. Um, On my way. Clear. 
Actually, hang on. No, I want to go down here. So I haven't looked at the, the gas station or anything yet. And like I said, we've obviously we've got limited amount of fuel for these vehicles, but I haven't actually seen how that works. And I'm interested in checking that out to see how that works. On the move. Waiting orders. Going there. Actually, hang on. Let's. Going there. Yes. This is the one I want. I want to check out that grocery store. So we need food. On my way. You guys aren't actually searching the building I asked you to search. Chief. Don't have any jobs? Send them. Okay. They were just all assigned to stuff, but apparently they've completed that. Chief, we just... There's... Stay alert. I thought we, we'd already gotten word, though, that there's, like, infected animals and stuff, so, I mean, that shouldn't really come as a surprise that there's infected animals when the other survivors told us this. But I guess maybe you get that if, um... You know... You don't actually pick up the other survivors, for instance. Waiting orders. On my way. On my way. So I don't see that I found anything there. On your command. We're on the move. Clear. On my way. I have a feeling if I want... Well, actually, I don't know how they're going to get back there. I guess there's... Building looks like there's a road here. We're on the yep, road. that's exactly what it is. Okay, well... We'll get that stuff searched. Building clear. Receiving. Waiting orders. We're on the move. Not a great haul for many of our teams so far today. I mean, we've gotten a little bit of food and stuff, but not so much from them. Uh, a little bit better on these guys. I mean, they found some metal and they got some food too, but again, could be better. There's another car park there. Yeah, I mean, we're almost out of food, though, so that's... I mean, I guess it's good we did find some food, and they'll hold us over for another night, but I wish it was more. Ready for action. Clear. Ready for action. Going there. Gosh, that is taking forever for you guys to search. Now, if you do have multiple teams searching a single building, it does search a lot faster. But obviously, with the cars, you're kind of limited to just the one squad unless you're driving multiple vehicles to a single site to search it. Oh, awesome. They just found a ton of food there. That's fantastic news. I'm excited about that. All right, well, that one took forever to search, but uh, that was that was a good setup. Got a lot of food off that church, so that's kind of funny. A lot more so than uh, any of the actual stores or anything, but it makes sense because I think a lot of people, you know, aren't necessarily going to go to a um, church as opposed to a store. Like, people are going to go to the store first before they go to a church to search for, like, foods and stuff like that. On your We're on the move. Roger. Port spotted. 
We're ready. What was that? Are these workers? I guess these are workers still coming back to the uh, to the base. Now I'm curious what happens if the infected are like out here with these people as they walk back. Are they gonna get attacked, or is that is that not a big deal? Still can't cancel that. Part of me wants them to come under attack by a horde just to see what happens. Wrecked. On going there. Report spotted. So let's go ahead. Let's also create another new squad. I mean, we got these, uh, Machine guns and stuff now too. We're on the move. Might as well clear these buildings here tonight. Roger. Yeah, we got three assault rifles. We should be okay defending that, I would imagine. Board spotted. There we go. Okay. Waiting orders. So yeah, we need to build farm fields. So I figure we'll just do that outside the compound walls, like right here. Um, the only thing is, we need to also make a cookhouse. So I guess maybe that's what this is going to turn into. We need to collect more wood before we can do a whole lot of other stuff, though. So that horde's still wandering around. I mean, they've been wandering for a while. They're not very big, so we, I'm not too threatened by them. Although, ideally, I don't want to be caught off guard out in the open at night. So I'm hoping as here as we get into this building, they're going to attack us. Alright, so they did get into the building. It took them a little bit longer to kill than I was hoping it would, but I'm pretty sure what happened there was the, um... Building clear. One of the squads didn't actually attack them. Roger. Until maybe they got into the building. If I were to take a guess. And to do this, we'll send uh, we'll send a few of them to start working on the fields here. Waiting orders. On my way. Reporting. On your command. On my way. And you can start searching local houses and stuff. Going there. Let's actually start you over there with the grain and stuff. Then we'll get our other guys back to their cars here to search out further. Uh, there's a gun shop up there. We're going to need ammo again before too long. I also need technical books still. 
Not sure if that's what this uh, third thing is. I'm pretty sure that's a horde in there. Make sure that they're actually searching that, which they didn't seem to be. Ready for action. Roger. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a horde they're going into, but hopefully if it is, that just the four of them can handle that pretty well on their own, I would think. Receiving. During the day, at least. Not a lot of businesses up this way, but yeah, you know, like I said, a good good cluster of them all belong in here. Now we're okay. Let's do this. <laughs> they just keep popping out and dying. Alright, so we need to build an antenna. They just messed us up pretty bad. Now let's kill two of my people here. On my way. Receiving. On my way. Going there. We're on the move. So we need tools, and I don't know where to get those from, but I think we have some tools, so maybe we don't need to worry about that. Uh, I think we're going to end up disbanding the squad. Thankfully, I think they did pick up the uh, the gun off the person we lost. But that is, uh, I mean, keep in mind again, these squads, these, you know, these uh, scavenging squads that I have, I mean, these are from the same pool as all my workers and stuff. So when we lose a person in these squads, it uh, definitely hurts. So I can't create a new squad. I'm guessing because we don't have enough people to actually form one. Sure enough, there we go. Okay. I kind of forgot about my other group here. All squads, return to base. Spotted. I will give them credit, they're still working as they walk. Oh man, there is some big hordes that guys got out there just in time it looks like. Shoot them down. 
All right, so we got infected dogs here. He doesn't want to see dogs die, infected or otherwise. Uh, probably is a good time to look away. Okay. okay. A little bit of damage to the wall, but nothing too terribly bad. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, just like the walls, there's the other towers, but yeah, we're going to maybe build another tower here, I'm thinking. If it'll let me. What does the resources actually make this? 20 wood. Okay, perfect. We've got that. So what we'll probably do is just take all of our people working scavenging and put them all on construction or at least as many as we can so what we might do let's do this max that and then whoever's left can do the scavenging Oh, we're actually pretty bad on food here. Port spotted. Now the uh, the time day start seems to also push back later and later because it actually changes the uh, the time of year as you go on and play through the game. Um, so that's definitely something you gotta keep in mind too while you're playing, is that uh, daytime's gonna change. I should have sent the uh, guys with the assault rifles here to check these buildings. Roger. Port spotted. Actually, I'm being kind of a dummy because we do have another car over here. We've got our third squad. We really should have sent them to go get that car. We finished construction. Yeah, I don't know if the hordes will attack the um, fields. That's something else I'm kind of concerned about too. We're on the move. We finished construction. We're running out of stock. Um, where are you guys? Roger. We got a little bit more food. Hopefully enough to uh, kind of keep our folks tied over for a day. Our people are starving. Ready for action. I say as they say they're starving, but you know, we're just getting our fields and stuff up too, so hopefully that'll be uh a source of food, although we are going into winter. I don't know if that affects it or not. On your command. Roger. Construction complete. Yeah, I don't know what we can really expect to find at the alcohol shops. I haven't really paid too much attention or seen what's in them. Building clear. On my way. Roger. 
Oh, well, no. They're, yeah, they fold. That's why they're trying to go back to HQ. Building clear. Going there. On my way. Reporting. Going there. We're ready. We're on the move. On your command. Well, it looks like we found a lot of food, but I was hoping for more ammunition or guns, but I did look for more food than ammunition or guns, so I guess that that makes sense, doesn't it? Infected incoming! Going there. Port spotted. Uh Port spotted. Port spotted. Ready for Roger. Infected incoming. On your command. We're on reporting. Requesting support. We're under attack. Port spotted. Uh, that was a pretty narrow escape there, but we uh, we did manage to get away with the other car. I don't think that's going to matter too much, but. Uh, Whew. Yeah, I don't know. They were they were like almost right on top of the people. Now the thing is, is like the car seems like it can take a few hits, but the the people definitely can go down really fast if they get caught out in the open. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally getting some infected run over. Though it didn't seem like it did too much. We only killed two of them. Yeah, we still got workers coming back. I think they're going all the way over here to collect trees. This is literally just one left attacking us. What happened to all the rest of them? Oh, they're there. Okay, I was going to say. Oh, that's a lot of infected here. I don't know if we're going to have enough ammo to take all these guys on. That's... Yeah, we got 14, but I still don't know that that's enough. Yeah, if I could have gotten two more guns, I had this third tower up, I would have been a lot more comfortable. Yeah, we need to see... I mean, we got a fair bit of food out, out of pistol. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's for the guard tower, though, I think, so that's fine. Um, we need to see if we can find another weapon shop. I don't see one. Now the other thing I don't know is, is this white border of the map, is this like the entire, like, zone here? <laughs> what happens if we clear all this stuff out? I mean, like, so it looks like we've got all the guns in the area. I'm sure there's maybe like one shop or maybe even two that I'm missing, but it doesn't seem like there's too many. Yeah, I don't know. Might just have to focus on the regular shops here. Because I think there's ammo at the regular shops. That's a pretty decent sized horde coming in. Actually, hang on. Um. On my way. 
We're on the yeah, search up there. We're ready. We're on the move. Awaiting orders. Roger. Port spotted. An incoming transmission. Oh, yeah, we gotta build the antenna, too. Say hello and wave. We could make new friends. Clear. Port spotted. Going there. On your. We're on the move. Ready for action. You guys actually searching this? Waiting orders. Going there. Roger. On your Okay, they, they actually completed the search and they was looking at the one under it. There's a bunch of buildings like right on top of each other, kind of in narrow space here. Roger. Throw me off a little bit. We're running out of stock. Receiving. Going there. On my way. Roger. Clear. Going there. On my way. Going there. No, uh, no guns or ammo from there. Waiting orders. Roger. Reporting. Going there. On my way. Yeah, I don't know where we're supposed to get more guns and ammo. And, that, and again, that might be something that they're doing to limit how long you can last in the uh, in the demo. I guess maybe. Now, how do we build this antenna? Is this under other? It is. Okay. You don't have the metal for this, though. Clear. Waiting order. Roger. On my way. On your command. We're on the move. On my way. We're on the move. Roger. Yeah, there's some weird pathfinding with this building going on. Hostiles inbound. We're on the move. On my way. On my way. Port spotted. Roger. Oh, let's get him back. I think this might be the final night. I'm not certain. Port spotted. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, get ready to defend. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Just pretend like we didn't hear the noise. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I got a little bit more heavily defended than I was previously. Going there. On my way. On board spotted. Waiting. On my way. So as you guys can see, like I said, seasons change as it goes through. So, I mean, I don't know. We're, we're at one week in game time, but it's not winter. It's snowing. Um, so we seem to have gone from summer to winter over the course of 
a week, so I guess one week's about half a year maybe in game time or something, I'm not certain. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's end this. Let's go ahead and move our other pistol group over here. We'll use the same configuration of uh, configuration of people here. So we'll use these uh, assault rifles closer to this building's where these guys are going to pour out of, and then the pistols, which fire slower over here with this tower. Actually, I might, might even do this, might move this over too, because they're all coming from the one side. I'm sure they'll come from over here too, but... So you know, we've gotten confused, got lost between these two buildings here. A huge horde of infected dogs. These assault rifles make an absolutely massive difference, too. Yeah, I'll just have these guys kind of hop between buildings here. So I think our uh, assault rifles ran out of ammo. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure this tower is about to fall. I mean, it's holding up better than what I thought against all those zombies, but. Oh, gosh. I mean, honestly. We're doing better than I expected us to do, but I, I don't know how many more hordes we're going to have to deal with. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's still not going to turn to day for... Oh, it actually tells you when sunrise is. Yeah, it's not going to turn to sunrise for another two hours in game time, so... Could be... No more horde attacks? Could be several more. Looks like no more, thankfully. Whew, that was a lot. Have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come, our chances of survival will be really low. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think we could do another attack like that. We don't have the ammo. We expended, uh, we expended close to half the ammo. I think I, I can't remember what we have. It was like 11 or and I think we had like 13 maybe we're down to seven so uh I, I don't really think we're gonna be able to fight them so let's see what it says if we will hide in the worst case scenario we can still seal ourselves underground again so okay this is in fact the end of the demo I don't know again if there's gonna be in the actual game like a super difficult horde night every seven nights like seven days to die or something else but 
yeah, we we did lose a few survivors. I think we lost well, we lost the one scavenger, but that was actually a pretty good run. That was the best run I've had so far. Uh, we found five survivors, uh, killed nearly 600 infected. Yeah, not a bad run. Uh, all right, guys. So, yeah, that'll probably be in a two part video just given how long it is, but maybe just one part. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was infection free zone. Um, if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, let me know. I don't know that we're going to do another playthrough of the demo, but maybe when the full game comes out, if I'm able to get my hands on it, uh, I would be kind of keen to play this again. Uh, also, if you guys want to see more 112 Operator, it's been a while since we've played that on the channel. If you guys want to see more of that, let me know that too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.